to your nightly Confederate news broadcast. The date is December 16th, 1864, and we've got a great show on hand for you. Um, we'll begin with our live coverage from the Battle of Nashville. We'll cut to our local hero segment where we'll, we will interview uh, General John Bell Hood. Um, we'll go and explain the Battle of Nashville in a greater depth, and then we'll cut to a word from our sponsors. Then after that, we will have our very own interview with a very famous slave owner, or not so famous, it depends. And then after that, we will go over a brief overview of the battle tactics used in various battles in this year. Then after that, we will go back to today in propaganda. Yes, thank you. And uh, we'll go live to the Battle of Nashville right now. Wilfred Wolf does you live from the Battle of Nashville. I'm reporting live from the city of Nashville. Right now, we are at the top of Shiles Hill as we are seeing the Southern make quite the defense fending off the Union forces. Right now, I can't really tell where this battle's going, but it looks like the Southern's gonna win. Well, we are pushed back quite a bit, but that ain't no matter, cause I got- Wait, what? Wait, what? What's- What's happening? No! No! Get- No! No! Get going, you Confederate! I, Keep on going! Free, Let's man. go! Let's go! No, you're following me! You're following me! You are following me! You can't even ask me! You can't even ask me! You're going here! You're going here! You're going here, high escape! It's a very situ serious situation they have there. Um, we'll check up on that later, or never. Um, but right now, we'll go live to our local hero segment where we'll be interviewing John Bell Hood. Thank you for that interesting introduction. I'm here live with John Belfort, the Confederate General. So, how do you feel about the Atlantic campaign? The Atlantic campaign has been a complete disaster since we started. Um, we haven't captured any of the key objectives that we originally set out for. Well, under the Atlantic campaign was the Battle of Nashville. And how do you feel about that event? Was it good or bad? Um, it was pretty bad. When it started, it seemed like we could make it, but... The Union outnumbered us about 5 to 2 at the end, so we lost. Uh, well, okay, now back to uh, more personal things. How do you feel about your rival general, General uh, Jake Johnson? Um, Johnson's a great man. He helped me get to where I am today, I gotta say. Well, didn't he, uh, didn't you surpass him? John! Oh. John Bell Hood! You lost the battle of Nashville! This is Robert E. Lee! You have been relinquished of your position as general! Yo, fire! Okay, come back! Come back! Thank you for that very helpful information. Um, now we'll cut to a word from our sponsors. production of cotton, we are offering you two barrels of cotton for the price of one barrel of cotton. We have been losing cotton lately. All of our buyers, no one's buying our cotton. Not even Britain's buying our cotton. They turned to Egypt for cotton. So now, what I'm offering you do? Two barrels of cotton for the price of one. That's a lot of cotton. A lot, a lot, a lot of cotton. So here we go, guys. Here's a lot of cotton. See you folks coming out of my cotton shop. Thanks to our sponsors for helping us broadcast to all of you folks. Now we go live to a slave owner interview. Joe, Jim, we will never know. All right, Master Jim, I'm here to ask you some questions. What do you think about the Underground Railroad? Well, in my opinion, it's a terrible thing. They're taking away our hard bought properties that we hereby own in this land of the free. Um, what do you think about runaway slaves? I think they should be returned to their rightful owner, as seeing as they are the property of that owner. Um, what do you think about the fugitive slave law? I think it is a great, great, great law. I mean, it, it's taking what's ours and it's giving it back. And now that makes it so they just can't go run away to that northern land like this fella right here. I caught him a couple of days ago trying to go north. Um, why do you think we seceded as the South? Well, see, we seceded because we felt that these northern here people, they were 
infringing upon our rights to own our slaves. Well, thank you, Master Jim. You're welcome. Ah, yes, he had some very interesting input there. Um, and now we will go uh, live to Battle Tactics Pete. Um, and he'll be running us, giving us a little walkthrough through the Battle of Nashville. Hello there, folks. I'm Battle Tactics Pete here. I'm walking through the Battle of Nashville. All right, here, folks. So, first of all, we have the Battle of Nashville. The Union forces commanded by General Thomas caught the city force. They surrounded the city, which they'd been occupying for two years during the war, and made lines cutting off the roads here, and they occupied the city. Now, General John Bell Hood's forces made a line here, and they occupied the roads in the south, so the Union forces wouldn't have any line of supplies from the south coming up at all. So right here, the Union forces basically, like, they're sitting here fighting and, you know, all that nonsense. All right, General John Bell Hood, what they did, basically, the Union, the first line of the Confederates fell back, so... Let's erase that here. And it fell back to the second line just north of Peach Orchard Hill and Shires Hill. The Union cannons were firing upon both of these flanks here, causing heavy losses. Now, well, it's, first off, I forgot to tell you this, but the Union had 50,000 compared to the Confederates' 20,000. So the, the South was at a disadvantage right here. So the second line fell through eventually by infantry after the cannons fire, and they retreated to Shy's Hill and Peach Orchard Hill. Now, Shy's Hill was commanded by General Nathan Bedford Forrest, and that's right, the General Nathan Bedford Forrest that was from Forrest Gump's grandpa, supposedly, well, he was named after, fall back here. The South was well, eventually overtaken by both of these hills, and they lost the battle and retreated them. General John Bell Hood was relieved of his command well, he was demoted from general, essentially, and then the Union forces continued to occupy Nashville. That's it, folks. Here's Battle Tactics Pete here, and I'll say goodbye. Thank you, uh, Battle Tactics Pete, for the interesting take on the Battle of Nashville. Um, we'll now be going to Today in Propaganda, and today we have uh, a fan drawn piece that we'll be explaining. So, today we have a very special propaganda because it is fan drawn. So. Right now we have a picture of Lincoln burning all of our money because he is wasting all of our money on the war. Whereas he could just leave us alone and we could be set, we would be rich, we would live happily ever together. And, well, yeah, it's a, it's a bad drawn picture, but it's fan-made. So, here we are. Wow, that was some very interesting propaganda drawn by our very own Battle Tactics P. Support the war effort! Um, and now we'll go to... The today's Interesting Facts with Jeff Jeffrey Jefferson. Welcome to Fast Facts. This is the H.L. Hunley. It was the first combat-tested submarine to sink an enemy warship. How this worked, it would attach an explosive to this long pole and would stick it to the enemy ship. And the explosive was outfitted with a timer. The, ship, the submarine would back away and the ship would explode. Sherman's March to the Sea and the march back. He started here in Chattanooga with his Union for forces, went down to Savannah, then back up to Bentonville, raiding the Confederate towns. He did this to demonstrate that the Confederate government could not protect its people. Andersonville Prison, the biggest and most infamous prison in the Confederate States of America. It held many Union soldiers and was hastily taken down after the Union took over Andersonville in 1864. And cool. Thank you. Thank you for watching our program, and we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time, same place.